Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Nigira Techies. This is our ReactJS tutorial. So today I'm going to explain this handle force request from our ReactJS application. And this is the continuation of my last video. So in my previous videos, I have explained how to create the form and applying the validation and get the values from our form. Okay, so currently we have this object. I mean our data is in the object format. So using this data, we can complete our post request. So currently we are providing link from this edit button. So instead of that, I'm going to create one add button here. So in the code, I'm going to use this link tag. Let me see the output now. Okay, our add button is coming. Let me create one route. So after this employee, I'm going to create one more route. So this is for add employee, and our component name is add employee component only. Now I'm going to use the same route in our listing page. So now when I am clicking this add new button, so it is redirecting our form page and here we have this name, role and also salary. In the salary currently we don't have the field. So let me create one more new field. So in this add employee page, after this role, I am going to create one more control that is for salary. Here I'm not going to provide any validation. So let me remove this one also. Okay, this is fine. And this value I'm going to use salary. So for this salary, we supposed to define it. So the default value should be null. And this function name should be salary change I am going to include here so whenever the value gets changed it should be updated automatically now in this object section let me remove this ID because the post request scenario only I am going to include this salary so let me save it So should not be null okay so let me provide some value so initially I'm going to provide zero okay now it's fine let me create one record John admin so see now I'm able to get this uh, complete object now we can start our post request for this get request we have created on hook the use fetch hook so unfortunately we are not going to reuse the same one so instead of that we have to write one more new function here i am going to command this one so here also we are going to use this fetch command only so the first input should be our url the url is same only okay this is our url and then this is the synchronous method and the next thing is uh, we have to pass the request type and also the headers then we have to pass some data so let me include one more parameter here the first parameter is method so method is nothing but the request type so our request is post request and the second one is header so it expecting some object so we are going to provide this content type so content type is application bar json so we are going to pass our data into json format only 
at the next parameter is body so in this body we are going to pass our data so we have this object let me convert into a JSON format I am going to use this JSON dot stringify then we have to give our object okay so once the request is completed I am going to create one console message data added and if there is an any error we have to capture it Okay, we have done. Uh, let me verify this one how it's going to work. First, let me refresh this one, and the value is John Peter. And, and role is admin. The salary I'm going to provide some value. So, see, we are getting this uh, message data is added. So let me go to our listing page. See now the John Peter is included and we are able to see this value. So if I go to this detail page, I am able to see. Okay, now let me create one more record. And the very important thing is once we are created our new record, it should be redirected into our listing page, right? So let me implement that also. So for doing this one, uh, we have to use, for doing this redirection, I am going to use this use navigate hook. It is belongs to our uh, React router DOM only. So let me initiate this one. Not here, this outside. Constant. Navigate use navigate we have initiated so using the history I'm going to complete our redirection okay we have done let me save it I'm going to create one more record So see now the Amar Singh record is included and the role is developer and the salary is coming. And let me go into the screen. I am going to submit the screen. So I am not provided this name and role. So I am getting this error message. So when I am entering the value, the first error message gets gone. So again I am trying to submit. So still we have this validation for this role. So the role I am going to provide the value. Now we are good to submit our form. So I'm going to provide some values in the salary side. So I'm submitting. So it's just redirecting. And the new records also included in our list. Okay, in our next video, I'm going to complete the functionality for this edit. So basically when I'm clicking this one, it should load the existing data. And we have to complete this submit using the put request. So that we can see in our next video. Still, if you have any doubts or clarification about this post request, please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Please stay tuned for my next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.